Hey friends, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose back at you with another tech take, and this is the Anvis CX3 fingerprint and card time clock. So, what is this? Well, like I said before in the name, this is a digital time clock for maybe work, business, whatever it is. If you need to clock in or out or track hours, you can do this right here. No more punching cards and stuff like that. It's all digitized right here. And you can either use a card or your thumb as well. Okay, so like I said before, you get a biometric scanner that's included. You also get fast export payroll report, meaning that whatever happens here, you can quickly connect the USB stick to it and bring it out into your, maybe your documents or your computer or whatever you're using and bring out that report straight into there. So it happens here. You just bring it to your computer. Easy setup. I'm going to show you how to set it up and also free lifetime support. So let's check it out. Now, immediately you'll see that four easy steps to set this up. You also have your QR codes as well to bring up a user manual and also video tips on how to use it, use it as well. Really quick video is easy to set this up. I'll give you a quick demonstration of what that looks like as well. And also user guide um, as well. So make sure you check those things out because it'll really help you get yourself going. But yeah, one, two, three, four, you're good to go. Let's take a look at our CX3 and here you go. Yeah, you got a nice textured material. It looks really nice and uh, I mean, it's got to look nice and feel to it. It's not really heavy, but not light at the same time. Of course, you've got your digital screen right here at the top. Let's bring this on. I'm saving this just for you guys. Uh, you've got your finger scanner right here as well. You've got your um, your card tapper as well. So it can, it can do a card tap out. It does include cards. So you can use that for clocking in and clocking out. Of course, you have your number panel with directions and also modes. Okay and clear buttons as well. And of course you've got your speaker here because it does do, has a little speaker for command prompts or button presses. Uh, you've got a USB port on the bottom. This is where you plug your USB stick in so you can pull the reports or upload the reports from the device and take it to your computer. You have removal back plate as well. And this is where you'll find your ethernet cords. So you can connect an ethernet cord to that as well. And of course your power adapter so you can power this device. You don't have to connect to the internet with this, but if you wanna connect it to your network, you do have that option. Two. Let's see the accessories that you get with it. In the box, you get two clock-in cards that you can they can program into this, and you can just use it as to check in and check out. You have uh, your mounting screws and anchors, so you can connect this into the wall, and of course your power adapter. So let's get straight to getting this started. I'm going to bring this off. I connect it. Now what's really cool about this is it really brings the, if, especially if you're a small business or you, you know, you just don't want like a crazy setup that costs a lot of money. You can get something that's really affordable like this set up within your small business and get yourself going. All right, so after it boots up for the first time, we present it with a language menu. You have different languages to choose from. We're gonna go ahead and press okay and move forward and create our schedule and set our time. Um, automatically, this was already set to my time and date and time format month, day, year, and all that stuff. So that was really convenient. I'll just press okay to move forward through all of these menus. All right, all right, then we'll move to the next thing and we'll set our work schedule for our employees. So. We'll go ahead and press, now right here on the top left, you'll see where it says overnight. If we press okay, we can set an overnight schedule um, within this. Now you have to have this act activated or selected so you can actually have an overnight uh, schedule be uh, work within the time card. We're gonna press okay and turn it off. Now we'll go to next, to our first work time in, and let's just say our worker X is starting at 8 a.m. So we'll go eight, Oh, nope, nope. Let's go back. We'll go eight zero zero. And let's just say his end time during that point is I'll go to the next one. Uh, let's just say 12 o'clock. All right. That's probably going to be his lunch break. So we'll press OK. It'll move in. Let's just say his break is from 1201 uh, to one o'clock. Right. Then back in at 1301. Right, and then let's, let's just say 17, right? And then we'll go from 1701, finally getting out at, let's just say 20. It's been a long day. <laughs> okay, we can keep going, okay. And this is the work schedule for, let's just say like the day. People are gonna be working for these different works uh, schedules or these are the time parameters set for the work schedule. Of course, you can set up different one, different ins and outs working two and three. 
but this is I'm just setting up a, a general schedule. Okay, we can do it by weekly or start of date or payment as a Monday. You can set that up to however you like, and we're all set. We'll go. And now, if I wanted to, I can do my finger, but not yet. I got to set up that up. I have to set that up, or I could use this key card, but. I have to set these up uh, still. So let me uh, show you how to do this real quick. I'm gonna press the, uh, nope, not the function button, the menu button. I'm going to log in as me. All right, and you can see we can do enroll, a user, data, settings, advanced settings. Let's uh, real quick see what that looks like. I can add somebody, I can modify somebody, delete somebody, I can search for someone. You can see that it has a lot of features inside of here. Right, we can check out the data, record, import, export, Okay, as far as settings, device settings, time settings, display, update, and test, and also advanced, TNA, verify mode, and schedule as well. Let's go ahead and add a user. We're gonna do 333, that's his work ID. The name, we're gonna press function to switch the method. Uh, and I wanna, let's call it low, so six is L, right? And now the O is another six, and we'll call him low. Right, and his uh, his password ID is, let's just say 777. Okay, and his card, we can sync up his card right here. So it matches his card. There's a card number and here's his user card number right there. We can go here and this is, uh, it's admitted to me, I'm the user. Or I know at least he's the user, but I'm the administrator. And I can go to enroll to F fingerprint. So we'll go to there and we'll press okay. And it's asked for my fingerprint. So I'll just put my thumb there and it'll grab it. Normally you just have to like do it like three times before it gets it. And then when it's done, it asks you to do the next one and it's gonna do the entire, your entire hand all over again. And that's how you can set up your finger and also your cards as well. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward, super powerful, great, a lot of options. You can do a lot of things with this, making it super simple. All right, so recap, the Anvis CX-3 no longer wasting paper, no need for paper. Everything is contained right here in this beautiful looking time clock right here. You have different languages. Also because of the security of creating different IDs and using ID cards and fingerprints, you can't have other workers clock in for other workers. The person has to be there to clock in and clock out and take care of their own responsibility. You can do overnight schedules. You can place this on the wall so it doesn't look like a sore thumb, looks blends in like anything, almost like an AC unit. And you don't have to rely on an internet connection to use this. Of course, you have your USB connection at the bottom and you can just take the information from here and bring it to your payroll software. But if you don't want to, you can use, utilize the ethernet and connect that to your network as well. Okay guys, that is the Anvis CX-3. Really hope this helped you out. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own Anvis, Anvis CX-3. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future videos. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here. And also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.